A 7 News exclusive now. Thousands of Americans have been stuck overseas from coronavirus closures, and they still have, they still don't have a clear way to get home. And we are hearing from some of them. Some of them are from right here in the upstate, and they are stuck in Peru tonight. This is the U.S. State Department and congressional leaders try to work out a deal to gain access to this country that has closed borders. It's not like this is day, you know, day two. This is day 10. What the heck? Exhausted and frustrated, Dr. Jonathan Strange, a dentist from Easley, speaks to us from his hotel room in Peru. They're running out of food. Our meals are getting a uh, little scarce. Ten days ago, the Peruvian government shut their borders to stop the spread of coronavirus, leaving Strange and other Americans scrambling. That order came only hours before his scheduled flight home. The longer we stay here, the more at risk we are. He says that for good reason. If the coronavirus spreads to his hotel, his stay could be even longer. A hotel in Cusco just today had a person who was contracted positive for corona, and that whole hotel, you cannot leave your room, is under a brand new 28-day quarantine. Strange isn't alone. 17-year-old Jordan Harding is in Peru studying abroad. She was sightseeing when she got the news Peru was being locked down. I'm pretty nervous um, because I feel like it might take a while for me to get home, and I feel like there's a lot of factors that that are in play that I am not in control of right now, and I really would like to get home. Anxiously waiting at home, Jordan's family. We spoke with her father, Jeff, from his home in Tennessee. It's a, it's a dynamic situation. I think things could deteriorate uh, quickly, and there would be nothing we could do about it, so we're really interested in getting her home. My parents and I have, contact, have been in contact with the State Department. They've been trying to organize a flight for me and my two other roommates that are here right now. The U.S. State Department coming under pressure and sharp criticism for not responding fast enough to get thousands of Americans home after the virus started to spread. From the emails I'm getting constantly, five, six emails a day from Lindsey Graham's office, from Jeff Duncan's office, from Rex Rice, from the governor, from State Department, <clears throat> from the Peruvian government. They're all saying the same thing. You know, sit tight, wait, we got things under control. I spoke with Senator Graham's spokesperson today. He says it continues to be a serious problem and they are working with those upstaters to get them home. The latest information from Dr. Strange uh, that he has received from the State Department is that they may have a flight home on Saturday. Meanwhile, negotiations between the U.S. and Peru continue as they seek permission to send planes to pick these people up. Of course, we'll keep you updated right here on 7 News.